This is a 51P base, uh, early guy uh, from the Fender Custom Shop. It's, uh, it's pretty cool, man. It's got flat wounds on it, keeps it pretty traditional. And uh, yeah, this is like the OG. This is like the founding father of bass, of electric bass right here. Um, I always think of this, it's funny, every time I see a bass like this, um, whether it's like on the web or someone playing anything that's kind of like this, which you say like a, like a telly bass because it has like the telly headstock and the telly look to it um, other than the uh, double cutaway. I remember getting the meters anthology for Christmas like when I was like 12 or 13 years old and in it was a, and now I was playing bass at the time so I must have been 15 so I was a little early there, um, of George Porter, the great George Porter playing a bass just I don't know if it was this color, because I think it was a black and white photo, but it had this shape to it. And uh, they're like playing in New Orleans somewhere. And I just remember that picture and it just being like, what is that bass? And like later on realizing what it was, you know, it's an early P bass or like a telly looking bass. I was like, I want to get one of those. I want to play one of those. That's like the funkiest bass ever. And obviously he's like the funkiest dude ever. Um, so I always had like kind of a, a kinship sort of or like, I always romanticized a bass just like this because of that. I just remember looking at that picture and like staring at it and saying like, I want to, you know, I want to be that bad. Like, as, you know, so it kind of has like a funny story to me about these basses. And I'm sure other people can relate similar stories because it is a very classic instrument. So spec wise on the bass, very true to form. Um, two piece ash body, quarter sawn maple neck, obviously maple fretboard, as you can see. Um, reverse tuners, volume, tone, and you got your plates, bridge plate, pickup plate. You can take them off if you want, makes it a little more playable, um, looks super cool with them on. You got the, uh, the oddly placed Leo Fender finger rest, not a thumb rest. Um, and big, big powerful tone. It's got a 55 P bass pickup in it, um, really big room filling warm round sound uh 1.7 width at the nut and uh they mentioned before but it has flat wound strings on it stock which is is really cool kind of adds to that that vintage vibe to it um you know tone all the way up you get a lot of that whoop it's not gonna work that way is it that snappy kind of quacky sort of P bass sound with a maple neck. You know, if it was Rosewood, it'd be a little more warm than that. So it's really touch sensitive too, because if you don't want that and you lay back a little bit from a, a playing perspective, it's pretty warm. And if you attack, you start to bring out some of those tones. If you roll, uh, tone back a little bit, that really warms it up. So, you know, if you're playing any of that old school Motown stuff or any like funk soul stuff, this is gonna fit exactly perfect in the mix. Um, and it's got strings through the body on the back. No relicking on this bass. It's uh, the NOS package, which is new old stock. And uh, yeah, great bass, man. It's uh, it is it, it's it's every bit of a 51P bass that you could get at a much uh, much lesser price than getting an original 51P bass for sure. Um, if you're local, you can stop into Empire Music here in Mount Lebanon and outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and uh, definitely get this thing under your hands and give it for a test drive. Uh, you can check it out online at EmpireMusicOnline.com. Uh, you can call me personally here at the shop, 412-343-5299. 
and uh, I'll be more than happy to answer any questions for you. And like I said, stop in the shop or check us out online and, uh, you know, got some killer fenders here, man, for sure.